This is how the assembly should look like. So the diagram for the drum brake of a G35 looks like this. You're gonna have the two drum brakes. These are the springs that holds the actual drum brake to the back plate. And that goes right there, as you can see, is a is a vertical. So if you wanna lock it, you push in, you twist horizontal. If you wanna take it out, push in and you twist vertical. And it's gonna go beep. Then you know that it's out. The top has one spring that goes in that hole and then goes to the other one. The bottom also has one spring that holds that one and goes to the other hole. This on top is the, the adjuster. You can adjust it so it can widen the brake pads and have more grip. And here is where the toggle lever goes, right in these two notches. So the big wide mouth go on top the small mouth goes on the bottom and that goes straight to the actual toggle lever which is right there and this side it looks like this and that is the brake line that you connect to the toggle lever so this is the new patch right here if you want to see all these parts individually i cover this in another video before this one i'll link it in the corners in the tags so you guys can watch it you press down and you turn oh goodness gracious of course, mines have to do a lot of... There we go. Good lord. That thing is loose right there. The only thing holding it is the springs. Goodness gracious. Right there. Right there. Right there. A long needle nose plier. You grab it. And you push it. And there you go, you see? Everything just come loose. These are the new ones. Oh yes. My camera has static. <laughs> they all seem to be the same, we just like rotate it. Everything is looks the same. Okay. And this is the new assembly. So it like that. That goes like this. Bam. Assemble. This is one. Bam. You see that rust right there and here and here I lube every part that has a contact right here just a little bit is enough to just help the system move so yeah, now I'm gonna put everything back together okie dokie so here is the replacement toggle switch for my broken one that didn't have the zero bracket and it came off finally found the little thing blah, blah, blah. so how do you put this the correct way now it's a little trick uh, th that I found out if you have it like this See this right here? That looks like a little muffler, right? You know, like a little tip. You always see the bracket and the muffler goes to the back. And that's how you know that you have it in the right direction. It's the same thing for the other side because the other side goes like this. Bracket in, muffler out. So let's get the pin and let's install it. I will also lube up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't go in there super dry, man. Whatever you do, just don't go and try, no matter what they say, you know what I mean? Always be a gentleman. So the point is, I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide it in. It's gonna be hard to record. <laughs> so you put it in like that, and that's how it's supposed to stay. A few moments later. Oh, and I messed up. One eternity later. same time. This 
is how the assembly should look like on the top the red one hitting the little marker there you'll see it all the way in the brake pad on top of the point so the bottom looks like this fully seated and so it's the other side see everything is matching everything is put on the water you adjusted after the rotor goes in is through this hole right here so the adjuster is like like somewhere in the middle here so you have to rotate the rotor so you can have clearance to put your flat screw drive and you adjust it by going down or up and after it doesn't move then you back up five notches one two three four five this is like a perfect example see I'm trying to put the rotor in but it doesn't go in because the brake the e-brake is too too wide so that's how you know it's too much so I have to back up a little bit and then lower this thing okay so as you can see I backed up a lot and it went in so let me take it off so you guys can see it see how it's really really low so that is how we place the drum brakes on a G35.